Hello, today we're going to do a very quick and easy GIMP tutorial. Firstly, if you're not familiar with GIMP, if you hold down the middle mouse button and move around, you'll pan. And if you hold down control and roll the mouse wheel back and forth, you'll zoom in and out. What you'll need is your layers window. If it's not there, like this, you can just go to Windows, Dockable Dialogues, Layers. The first step is to right click on that first layer. Add Layer Mask. Click on White Full Opacity, click Add. Now we have an extra little box next to our thumbnail. You can either click on the thumbnail of the image or the little box. If you've got the image selected and you try to draw, you'll draw on top of the image. But you'll notice if you select the mask, it erases it. We can see what the mask looks like by right clicking and saying uh, show layer mask. And that's what the mask looks like. So for example, if I were to increase the size of this by using the square brackets and I change it over to black, draw like this, and I right click again and turn off show layer mask, you'll see it's erased a huge chunk. So let's undo that. Let's undo this stuff. There we go. Now. That's one way to do it. You can zoom in here and change the size of the brush so it's very tiny. And you can just erase around the edge of the car. That seems like a good way to do it, but it'll take you forever. I've got my own way, using the lasso tool. You can go over to the tools menu here, click on lasso, or you can press F on your keyboard. You can then click around and it adds these little points and then you can press enter and it will close it off and select that area you can then press delete oh that did nothing so what you'll see is that what it actually does is wherever you press delete it will fill in the color of the background so we've just got to come over here to the foreground and background colors which is these two blocks and click on the arrows next to it and it will switch them around so now when we press delete it will fill it in with black see like that so now what we can do and i like to do it this way first so you just click around and get rid of big chunks by just clicking Pressing enter, delete. delete, and then you can just zoom in and take out smaller bits, zooming right in and just clicking. Now, if you make a mistake, you can just press backspace and it'll undo the last one, and you can just keep going. So let's just redo that bit. There we go. Simple as that. So you can just go around the entire car, slowly deleting bits of the background until you just have the car. Now I just want to show you a few other little features. When you click You'll notice it gives you these little points so you can actually take this point and move it you'll also notice that if you click and drag it'll draw but i don't like to do that it's not it's not the most user-friendly way to do things but you'll notice that if you draw click draw draw click click so you'll notice sometimes you might double click or drag by mistake when you try to move these things, they are a bit weird. They don't exactly respond the same way. So try and avoid clicking and dragging and just try a click to create points. 
So let's say you've made a mistake and you've cut a huge chunk out of something that you didn't want to. You can quickly fix it by just selecting around that area, flipping the background and foreground colors, pressing delete to fill it back in, and then cut it out all over again. By the way, the closer you zoom in and the more points you put in, the smoother the edges will be. Oops, sorry, but I switched the foreground and background colors back. Now, what you can do from this point, right click on the layer, apply layer mask, you can delete all of these. We can then add in a background, put it underneath. By the way, you can deselect everything by pressing Ctrl Shift A. Scale everything up, move it to the center, take this car, scale it down. And there you have it. Ta da! From this point, you can change the colors up a little bit. So you can select your, say, color, hue and saturation. You can desaturate a little bit. Change the hue to a different color. Adjust the lightness and darkness so it better matches the background. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or if I confused you at all, just let me know. And I'll be sure to try and clarify or fix up the tutorial so it's a little clearer.